Hi, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech. Um, first off, I'd like to say if you can't notice already, got my new camera. Yeah, this is my new camera. Um, so hopefully you'll be seeing some better features and better footage and video to come here. And hopefully I'll be able to upload this in full 1080p like it makes a difference. Anyways, today, like I said, I was going to start doing more reviews on stuff. And um, I know I don't have the box here for it, sorry. Kind of have a limited uh, time span here. And so I thought I might what, go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, do this for some people because I might be getting rid of this soon. So I want to go ahead and do this for you. All right, today... I was going to do a review on Petco power filters, okay? And for those of you that don't know, this is also, I believe, that, well, I know they're the same thing as the uh, Penplax Cascade uh, hang on back filters, okay? I'm not sure if they make the same exact size models, but um, I know Petco, they have like a 20, a 30, and a 65, and this is a 65, okay? And, uh, uh, I know part of the reason I want to do this review is because I noticed in, uh, one of my review, or, I'm sorry, when I said, one of my first videos when I suggested power filters, I said something about the Petco one being a single cartridge system, and it's not, but it kind of follows the same footsteps as those single cartridge systems, and I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, uh, also... Just, uh, uh, I know a lot of people I was reading online have problems with the motor and stuff, and I have your solution here, and it'll come up. I, I have a feeling, I mean, I might be wrong, or you might actually have a straight up broken motor, which you really can't do anything about besides get a new one, so, um, same thing with the impeller, but, uh, you know, I'll try to help you out here, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first off, this is pretty much better. I will tell you to get this filter, you know, this or the Penplax uh, Cascade one. I believe that's what it is. They they are the Cascade hang on backs. Um, uh, over uh, any of those other single cartridge systems like Aquions and I mean, uh, I I you, you guys should know I don't like Aquions uh, hang on back filters for many reasons. And if I have to, I'll do a re a, a review on them. But I really. Uh, th think they could really use some improvements. So, hope maybe Aquion, you guys should uh, Aquion should watch this. All right, maybe I help you out. All right, because honestly, I'm not biased to anyone. Well, let me rephrase that. In the true essence of what bias means, I am biased. Okay, everyone's biased. All right, but um, what what I really mean is that I'm not I'm not gonna lean towards one company just because it's that company. Okay. I'm just going with whatever I find or think is the best for at least my purposes and usually for your own. You know, I'll say something about it, all right? Anyways, get into this filter. Um, like I said, it's probably better than any of those single cartridges like Aquions and uh, Tetras. And uh, I think there's like one called Top Fin and stuff like that, all right? Now I'll go ahead and start showing you the features and some stuff on this, all right? First off, it's got a pretty cool kind of strainer. I mean, you can take it off. It's not that strong, but it's kind of cool that you can take it off, you know, in case you want to put something there, like a pre-filter, and this is getting in the way. Also, this has a telescoping tube, and it doesn't fall off, unlike the Aquion ones do. That's pretty cool, too. I like that. And then also on this YouTube, you have your adjustable flow. Right here on the top, all you do is screw the top around and there's an arrow that points to the front for maximum flow on there. And uh, so that's pretty cool. It does have adjustable flow on this filter. All right, now let's get to the innards here. And you got your little cover. And next you have your motor unit. Now this thing is pretty big. I don't know if you can see this. See how big this is. This is like the size of an AquaClear 120 motor or 110 motor. All right. And this thing only in the AquaClear 110, I believe, does about five 500 gallons per hour. 
This thing doesn't even do 300. I think it does like 270 gallons per hour, something like that. Which is kind of weird. I mean, this thing is pretty big, but hopefully that means it's durable. Like I said, I haven't had any problems with them yet. Pretty big size impeller too. I mean, this is like what they put in the uh, oh, you know, uh, Fluval uh, canisters. You know, the 04 and 05 series canister filters. I mean, it's a pretty big impeller. It must have been really slow. And that's another note. This filter is uh, actually really quiet. So. Uh, like you really can't hear it when it's running and they did a good job on the uh, bio falls and I'll show you that so you really don't hear the water running either all right really you should go to uh, Penplax not really Petco but uh, anyways next you have your carbon cartridge with the your uh, floss on it now this is you know this is kind of your average cartridge here on the front you know pretty much stops most things and you got carbon, and for some reason there's plastic on the back. I'm not a big fan of that, okay? But you can always just take and put, you know, actually in between this and the next stage, you can just put some filter floss in there. That'll work great. Um, yeah, I don't know why they didn't put wool on this side too, or floss or whatever you want to call it. But on the upside, this thing has some weight to it, all right? There is a lot of carbon in this thing, all right? In fact, I want to do a compare. I haven't actually done this yet. I want to weigh it for myself. Here I have a package of uh, three Aquion medium cartridges. I haven't even opened it yet. So there's three of them in here. And by the way, this uh, cartridge is actually pretty dry. That's why, as you can see, I don't have any towels out like I, like I have on a lot of my other reviews for my products because uh, they've been wet. Let's see. Do I need to get a new battery? All right, put it on. Oops. It's not doing it. Anyways, here, I know it's showing minus. Uh, all right. I don't know why it's not doing it, but anyways, it's saying this weighs 4.5 ounces, okay? Three pack with the box, unopened, whatever else comes in it. Then we have here our Petco cartridge. Now, now, I know these are mediums, and this is a large cartridge, so that's why I mentioned it. This one weighs about... About 9 to 10 ounces, okay? <laughs> this weighs over... This weighs like twice as much as the three pack of this does. So that's, you know, that's packed full of a lot of carbon there. So, and wool, and I imagine some of it's the plastic. So, so that's a pretty nice feature that, and the, uh, the, uh, the, it does last a while. I mean, like, I've only, I haven't really had to change the cartridge that many times. So, all right. And then next you have your, uh, your little uh, bio stage, they call it, uh, I think, uh, bio sponge. And it's actually a weird kind of porosity of sponge. I've never really seen one quite like it. It's uh, uh, it's, it's really soft. It, it almost reminds me of steel wool if it wasn't steel. <laughs> um, so it's got a real good porosity for, uh, you know, uh, colonizing bacteria and stuff. And it also, you know, adds to your mechanical filtration, which is kind of cool. And another thing that I like that they had the foresight to do is they divided this into two. So when it, every, if you ever have to replace them, you can take one out at a time without having to take out, you know, your entire thing. You know, as you know, that's why the aquaclaves are three stages because you don't want to take out, you know, all of your biofiltration at once. So that's a pretty cool feature I like. Especially, it's a, almost a must for beginners. And then you've got your, what they call, biofalls. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of these kind of things. You know, I think you're better off just putting a sponge in the output, but, and you are. But, um, 
it's but this is better than nothing. Um, it definitely quiets the flow down too. You definitely will not hear this even if your water's getting low. Uh, and, and I mean, it has to be really low for you to hear it. Um, but it's kind of the same concept as what the Aquions have. Uh, except the Aquions, of course, don't have really good execution on it. This is a li at least better execution. I don't know if you can see here the way it's curved. Here we go. See the way it's curved here on the back. This is the back of it. And it basically lets the water flow. Uh, there's like, it basically lets it flow inside of it. And then it has an impeder, so it has to go around, and then so so it has to hit all of the areas in here, and then it comes out these front parts right here. And I know it's kind of hard to see here. I'll put it back on the filter, but you know it's definitely better execution than what the Aquions have, and I've seen it. It catches quite a bit of crap, so I imagine there is some uh, biological bacteria on there, which of course is better than none. And that's I don't know if that helps see it any better. Alright, so this is actually a pretty good filter for the price. Uh, I'd suggest it over most of those filters most people get, and most of what you get in the, most of what you find in kits. Um, now, over the bio wheels, I don't know. Um, I haven't really compared them. That, that would be a tough one. You know, that's kind of personal preference. Um, yeah, th this or a bio wheel, you know, Emperor or Penguin, I, that, that'd be a tough one. Um, but uh, I have been doing mods with, or fooling around with the bio wheel. I have I have a Magnum with a bio wheel plus or whatever it's called, and uh, I, I might have found a way to make the bio wheel effective. But anyways, would I suggest this filter? Um, I would first suggest uh, Fluval C series and Aqua Clear, or possibly even a Via Aqua one. But I'm kind of iffy on the Via Aqua. Uh, but uh, I would definitely suggest those two filters over before I told you to get this one. And if you didn't like those for whatever reason, um, you know, I would tell you probably to go to either the Penplax or this Petco one, which is pretty, pretty nifty. I'm surprised they did this good of a job on it. So I kind of wanted to revisit this and just kind of show you it's really not that bad of a filter. By the way, before I forget, I know, like I said, I saw the reviews and everybody's having problems with their motor not starting. This just happened to me, like, uh, not too long ago, but I thought I had this on right. As you can see, the flow directors here on the intake tube, the U-tube, and, uh, it goes right over the propeller, and I plugged my thing in, and I didn't know why it was starting, it wasn't starting, and I was getting frustrated, and then I just took the U -t this U-tube out without, uh, what's it called, without, uh, unplugging it and then the motor started spinning up and I was like what and then I noticed I figured out that the propeller blade had gotten stuck on this part even though it looked like it was improperly it wasn't and uh, so the motor was getting stuck on this uh, plastic thing here on the bottom that directs your flow so uh, if you're having problems you know make sure you clean your motor clean your impeller check it for any kind of cracks or anything and make sure this is in there right okay all right, well, that's about it for the uh, PECO filter, all right? I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in.